All right, so first thing we notice here is the hopper. This is a conical hopper. Um, inside there are no cracks, crevices, or corners for product to accrue. So it's, it's all seamless, so cleaning and, and cross-contamination is not an issue. Um, down here we have an adjustable hopper gate. And so depending on what size fill you're going to do, that can be raised or lowered to get you know, speed and accuracy. Uh, in the front we have a top-down lane gate. So when we get close to the end of the cycle, uh, we basically shave off uh, the, the flow of product so we have a little bit of amount going into the weigh bucket. Um, the weigh bucket holds the product, obviously, and it's equipped with a hopper vibrator, I mean a bucket vibrator, so that if there's any kind of product accrual, it gets vibrated off uh, and out of the bucket and into the funnel. This is just a standard open utility funnel, so depending on the kinds of bags or jars you have, we would have however, however many of these that we needed. Uh, and you'll see that in a minute when we run product. Behind this is another vibrator, uh, so that again, if there's any kind of product accrual, it gets vibrated into the bag. So that way when we weigh out whatever it is, 8 ounces, 16 ounces, or 5 pounds, uh, it, it's guaranteed to all go into the bag. Uh, we have the pneumatics all in the back, easily accessed. Uh, and then of course we have just our basic keypad controller. Uh, we'll kind of go over how that works very, very simple. Alright, so for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to run uh, 8 ounce fills uh, and then we'll switch over to a pound fill just to show the process. Um, so basically, I have an 8 ounce program set up. I have all my physical adjustments ready to go. And so all we're going to do is uh, recall my program for 8 ounces. So I'll recall 0, 8, press 5, make sure there's nothing in the weigh bucket, and then hit run. So what's going to happen is it's going to fill to the bolt cutoff and then it's going to close the gate, which it did, dribble the last little bit in, and we just hit exactly 8.00 ounces. So now all I do, if I had a bag, I'd put the bag underneath there. I'm going to use a, a bin for right now just to show the speed. And then I press the foot pedal. So we'll run a few cycles and see what that looks like. So again, bulk, dribble, 8 ounces. Bulk. Dribble, eight ounces. So every time we're hitting 8.00 ounces. One, two, three, four, five. Basically, five second cycle. Now, Let's say that I want to switch over. So instead of pressing the foot pedal, I just hit the run stop on the keypad. I press five. You now the bucket's empty. And now if I wanted to run a pound, I would just simply recall the new program, or I can take this program and add eight ounces. Let's do that. So add value, enter, zero, eight, zero, zero. I'll store it in program 16, because that makes sense. And then I'll go ahead and get a new bucket. And we'll just hit run. So now it's going to do the same thing, except for now, instead of cutting off for eight ounces, it's going to cut off at one pound. And then we just hit 16 ounces on the money. And obviously, all these programs, we can modify the feeder speeds a little bit to get more speed. Uh, we can change the set points if we want to, you know, just dial it in. But you don't, during production, when you actually run this over and over and over and over again, it's kind of where we dial that stuff in. And that's it. Now, this one, if you look at those, if you look in the weigh bucket, the weigh bucket's about half full for 16 ounces. So we could probably fit uh, another uh, pound or so in there. And if you wanted to do more than two pounds or 32 ounces, then we would have that. We would swap this out for a much larger weigh bucket that could hold uh, five or even up to 10 pounds. And then again, the funneling would just be swapped out uh, to show. Um, uh, to match or to fit the container and the, and the bucket. So we'll do another video here in a second uh, showing that changeover. All right, so to switch over to the larger weigh bucket, you basically take the air off in the back. This is a quick disconnect uh, air fitting for the bucket door. This is a quick disconnect fitting for the vibrator. You simply just lift this off. You can see it has just little bars that it hangs on. 
set that to the side. The funnel is also to this neck. It just has some slotted holes there. The funnel vibrator, by the way, also has air, so we have to take that off. Also put this in there. Then we just take the larger funnel, the same exact hole fittings, put it on here, slide it over, take the larger wave bucket, put it on there, take the air fitting, and plug it in. Now this wave bucket does not have a hopper vibrator, and the funnel does not have a funnel vibrator because we don't have one in stock at the very moment. But essentially, the one you buy would have all of that to plug in and do that kind of stuff. So, if I plug in the air, now I would just make a program for five pounds and hit run. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I went ahead and made a five pound program. Uh, really all I did was change the wave bucket over Recall program 05, which is set up to pounds by a hundredth of a pound instead of ounces by a hundredth of an ounce. Um, I, I played with the feeder speeds just a little bit to get more product in the bucket faster. And that's it. So now I have that program set up. Make sure my weigh bucket's empty, press five. And now I just hit run. And so you'll notice now the feeder's gonna go a little faster, so more product gets in there quicker. But it's still gonna hit a uh, bolt cutoff switch to dribble and we hit 5.00 pounds. Start the foot pedal, cycle starts again. And so really, even though you're doing five times as much product, your cycle speed is pretty much the same and you're hitting five pounds on the money every single time. And it looks like the capacity of this bucket for the sodium, uh, that you'll be able to do probably 10 pounds in there very easily.